For some, the holidays can be a time for family and friends to come together over a delicious meal. For others, it can be a tough reminder of not having any place to go. The Red Lake Homeless Shelter works year-round to ensure that as many people as possible have a roof over their heads, especially this time of year. Mel Meyer has more from Red Lake. Rita, we started as a case manager at the Red Lake Homeless Shelter when it opened its doors in 2005. She says it's been pretty evenly full ever since. We've had people here from, um, some came from North Carolina and um, Minneapolis, Duluth. The homeless shelter sees about 250 to 300 clients each year, many coming back for their services. We provide beds, showers, meals, transportation to find resources, housing that clients uh, are entitled to. The housing component of their work is highly sought after. Both Weiss and May said that there are many housing barriers for people to overcome. It's like not enough housing here on the reservation. Some have had a house and have lost their housing. The organization can provide a place to stay for just over 20 people in its shelter. The meals and um, the stay, everything's provided. They don't have to pay for anything. However, tenants are only able to stay for 60 days a year and need to have a month-long break between stays. They do provide low-income housing as well with a subsidy that can partially pay for some of their rent. The housing need is just far, far greater than what the services can actually you know, provide. There is, however, a waiting list to receive their services, and they try to find accommodations for those in need while they wait in other cities. Crookston, Bemidji, and, but um, a lot of times they're full there too. However, May says there simply aren't enough grants, donations, committees, or resources to provide for those in need. Every single program like ours needs additional funding. Shelter employees say personal hygiene items like shampoo, conditioner, soap, and even towels are especially needed at the moment. In Red Lake, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. According to a 2014 assessment by the Center Housing Corporation, there was not enough emergency shelters in Bemidji or Red Lake. At one area shelter, people had to sleep on the floor due to lack of space. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.